To start the series, let's take a quick look at the new user interface. Although the panel area can still be accessed, it might get completely phased out in the upcoming versions of Hyperworks. I recommend to start using the newer workflows for all pre-processing operations. Let's get right into it. After opening Hyperworks, this is what the new interface looks like. From the file menu, we can start a new session. We can also open an existing Hypermesh model, Geometry or Solver deck. The recently opened files are also listed for user convenience. The session tools can be accessed to create a new session, save or load existing sessions. The import options can be used to import a wide range of file formats as per our requirement. Solver interface can be changed and pre-processing work for a wide range of solvers can be done in Hyperworks. We can also select the specific version of solver which we intend to use for the analysis. Using the convert option, we can convert a working model to solve it in some other solver. This is a very handy tool for verification of analysis results using different solvers. For additional help and resources, we can access the online help homepage. Now let's understand how the user interface is divided. We can see that the main pre-processing domains like geometry, mesh, elements and so on are listed in the menu bar. Clicking on an option opens additional tools contained in that option. This is how the interface is divided into self-explanatory sections so that we can access all the tools easily. All the tools from legacy Hypermesh panel area can be found listed in these options. Using the queue provided in bottom left of the screen, we can toggle between predefined views. This is useful to orient the model as desired during the analysis setup process. Below this is the view toolbar. This controls all the options for geometry and mesh visualization. We can also save custom views of the model to be used later during the setup process. Once we start with the actual analysis setup, we will get a better understanding of how these tools work. Just like in case of Hypermesh, we can enable the model browser from view panel. The solver browser can also be activated and we can switch between these browsers by clicking on the name. We can also enable the panel area. This is useful if we are facing difficulty in finding a particular pre-processing option using the new interface icons. We can always opt for using the legacy Hypermesh shortcut keys in combination with the new features. And with this, we can start the series and focus on particular pre-processing workflows. If you like this video, please hit the red subscribe button and give a thumbs up, it helps a lot. Make sure to follow me on social media to stay updated about latest video content. Thanks for watching.